Welcome to CSC Guru. In this session, we will discuss input and output functions in C. Two main functions, the programmer needs to write the C code to interact with the computer. One is the input function and another one is the output function. So the input function will help to accept the input or data with the help of the input device. The input devices are nothing but keyboard and mouse. And the output function is nothing but it displays the output in the output screen with the help of the output devices. So the output devices are nothing but monitor and printer. So to solve any problem or to perform any task, the programmer will write a C program. To execute this C program, appropriate input is required. So the input we can able to provide to the computer with the help of the input functions. For example, scanf is an input function. It helps to provide input to the C programs with the help of the input devices. The C programs will accept the appropriate input and process the data with the help of the C code and it displays desired output with the help of the output devices. So to perform this task that is to display the output in the output screen we require output function. So the output function is nothing but printer. So with the help of scanf function we can able to provide input to the C code. And the C programs will process the input and produce the desired output in the output screen with the help of this output function. So the programmer needs to interact with the computer in order to execute the C code. This interaction will happen only with the help of the inputs and outputs. And the input we can able to provide with the help of the input function. And the outputs can be displayed in the output screen with the help of the output function. So here if you are considering the input and output function, there are two main types. One is formatted input output function and unformatted input output function. This formatted input and output function, the input and output function will have a user specific format and these formatted input output functions are user friendly. And this formatted input output functions can able to handle any kind of data. That is, it will accept any kind of data and it will display any kind of result. Integer, floating point, character, string. Likewise, any kind of data the formatted input output function can handle. And if you are considering this unformatted input output function, there is no user specific format. It is a defined format only. And here, it can able to process only character and string data. It cannot able to handle integer and floating point values. This formatted input output functions that is the scanf and printf function will have a format specifiers to accept different data types from the input terminals and display the output in the output screen. But this unformatted input output functions will not use any format specifiers. And it is used to accept and display only character and string data types. So this is the main difference between formatted and unformatted input output function. And if you are considering this formatted input output function, scanf is the formatted input function and printf is the formatted output function. So if you want to accept the data and to provide input to the C code, we have to use scanf function. And if you want to display any output in the output screen, we need to use printf function. So these two functions are the commonly used functions in C programs wherever we need to provide input to the C program and display the desired result. And if you are considering the unformatted input output function, get char, get ch, get ch e and get es. These are all the input functions. And the output functions are put char, put ch and put yes. So if you are using a get char function to accept the input means we have to use the corresponding output function that is nothing but the put char function. So this get char function reads a character from the keyboard and store this character into a memory location. And here we need to press the enter key after typing the character. 
and this putter function if you are considering it displays the stored character data in the memory onto the output screen and the next is get ch and get ch the get ch function reads a character from the keyboard without echo and the typed character will not be visible on the screen and in this get ch function it reads a character from the keyboard with the echo but this get ch means without echo and this entered character will be stored in the memory location and put ch if you are considering it displays the character stored in the memory location and this get us is used to read a sequence of character from the keyboard with the space in between and store them in the memory location this is nothing but it accepts string as the input and put us is nothing but it displays the sequence of characters that is the string stored in the memory location onto the output screen so the formatted input function and unformatted input function are the two types of input output functions we will use in c programs so this formatted input and output function is commonly used in all c programs because this can of is the basic statement to accept all kind of inputs from the input terminals and print of is the commonly used output statement to display the output in the output screen and this unformatted input output functions wherever we require to accept the a character data or the string data we can use this unformatted input output function but this unformatted input output function will not accept the integer or the floating point values and it is also not user friendly like this formatted input output functions so in this session we have discussed the input output functions and its types in the next session we will discuss this formatted input and output functions in detail thank you for watching this video